Children, grab your pillow, and parents, grab your lighter. Make yourself real cozy, because we're pulling in a lighter. It's a podcast about the fairy tales you've heard many, many times. This time will be different, because we're stoned out of our minds. So spark up a bowl, and tuck yourselves in. Once Upon a Dime is about to begin. tell the tale of the darning needle sewing the heel of a shoe you'd use a darning needle because it's a thicker piece like you're not going to want to use one of those little baby needles on that yeah it wouldn't even do anything so a darning needle in this instance is also a the protagonist of our story. This is like 1860-something. This is probably 1823. So once upon a dime, there was a darning needle who thought she was so fine and so great that she should be used for embroidery. As opposed to the grunt tasks. So uh, she thought she shouldn't be used for darning. Mm -hmm. Um, But here she is. She's about to be darning things. And she, she... Tells the cook's fingers, because they're things with brains. Yeah, just like her. tells them, be careful with me, hold me, I'm delicate. Uh, If you drop me, you won't be able to find me. And the finger's like, oh yeah, you think so, huh? (laughs) She has a train, but it's not tied. This thread trailing her, but it's not tied. Because with other needles, you have to tie the thread so that you won't lose it. But then the fingers bring her to the... The heel of the shoe mm-hmm. because it had it was it burst at the the sole the yeah. cook's hand was going to go in and and stitch that up and she's it's like that's vulgar work i'm gonna break and, and then she does break and she was like i told you so and so then the cook puts a drop of wax sealing wax to create a ball so it's like a pin a yeah, head on the on the the broken needle the broken darning needle and then attaches her to a handkerchief. And that then turns her into a breast pin. And She's like, now I'm a breast pin. And she was very proud that she was a breast pin. She was like, yeah, I knew I was going to uh, rank up and merit or whatever. Yeah, because when you're someone, you're someone. <laughs> yeah, and I know who I am. I'm, I'm a breast pin now. She sees another pin next to her, and she's like, are you gold, perchance? Because you've got a really small head, and you're pretty, but you can only get so big. Uh, not everybody gets uh, the sealing wax on them. Mm-hmm. And then she, like, puffs up because she's all high and mighty. She puffs up, and she f- drops from the handkerchief because she got too proud. And she falls into the sink that the cook was cleaning. And uh, she's like, oh, well, I guess I'm on a journey now. <laughs> so she went down the drain and then ended up out in the gutter um, on, on the side of the street, outside, next to the street. I guess she gets stuck there. Things flying uh, across over her, past her, yep. down this, this little pa- passage of, of water. She's like... All these things that are passing by me, uh, they don't even know what lies underneath. They don't even, they're too proud, they're conceited, this world Mm -hmm. is conceited. And things pass by her like chips and straws and torn up newspapers, Um, specifically those things. The chip passes by and uh, she's like weak bro (laughs) (laughs) you're being all high and mighty thinks nothing of this world but himself Uh, and the straw uh, it's like twisting twisting on down and about uh, acting like nothing else matters but him Mm -hmm. but if he uh He's, if he's not careful, he's going to run into a stone or the edge of the curb. Yeah, And then little bits of newspaper would pass by, and the words that were on them are long forgotten, yet the newspaper spreads out, like puffs his chest, and he just spreads eagle in the, the gutter. He's so, he's so conceited. But uh, I'm just going to sit here 
uh, because I know who I am, and I'm fi- I'm a fine needle. Days pass. She's just hanging out in the gutter for days, mm-hmm. watching things fly by her, and then a bottle, a broken piece of a glass, piece of tumbles by and ends up next to her, and uh, it sparkles. And it's just a little bit of broken glass. And uh, she's like, so you must be a diamond, right? And the bit of broken glass is like, yeah, dude, I'm totally a diamond. Yeah, something like that. Because she thinks that he's a diamond and he thinks that she's uh, a breast pin because she introduces herself Mm -hmm. as a breast pin, uh, they feel like they can share their agree- agreement about how the world is conceited. Everything around them is conceited. Not them, though. She was uh, talking about like where she came from, how she was the breast pin of a cook, and that on each hand she had five fingers, and they thought they were so special, but yet the only re- they were only there to hold her. Take her out of the box and put her back in the box. Um... For the the cook's use. Like, they weren't really... They weren't that special. They acted like it. Let me tell you about these these <laughs> appendages. And the little diamond glass was like... Oh, yeah, were they highborn? Did they shine? Did they sparkle like me? But their fingers, they don't sparkle. She said, do they shine? No, not at all. They were arrogant. They were they were definitely not they were so, not high born. Oh. So then there's the five brothers, there's the short and fat one with only one hinge in his back. It only had one joint, so it could only bow one with one bow. And then the next brother lick pot. He would dip himself mm-hmm. in sweet things and and sour things. Get <laughs> he would just get licked. Um, but he also uh, would write. He would make the letters. The finger adjacent his brother, the uh, tall one, tall boy, long man. He looks over everybody's head. He's he's the one that's kind of keeping an eye out. Gold band is the uh, the next brother, mm-hmm. uh, and he wears that golden belt. So fancy, and then the little pinky Pete, Peter Playfellow. Peter Playfellow. Um, he didn't do anything at all. <laughs> he, and he was happy about it. Old darning needles talking about these these fingers and saying that they were so conceited that she had to leave them. The broken bottle of glass was like, well, let's just sit here and glitter together. And then as he says that, he uh, drifts away. And she's like, well, I guess he got promoted. So she's alone again for days. And then some boys come by doing their boy things they came mm-hmm. to uh, find coins and, and treasures and in the gutter knickknacks and patty wax and some bones and then one of the kids picked up the darning needle and picked his finger and he was like you're a sharp little fellow and, and then the darning needle said i'm not a fellow but of course he didn't hear the darning needle because it's a thing oh don't forget though this is just, this is make-believe. Her little the sealer's wax fell off of her, and she's turned black now. But black makes you look slender. Yeah. So, so now, now she's, she's like, oh, well, even more I'm even better. So they put her in that eggshell, <laughs> they, and now she's floating around down the gutter. Anyway, she's pinned to this uh, eggshell, and she's floating down, and she's like... Now, like, now look, I'm black, and this is white, so oh. I'm really going to stand out yeah. now. She hopes she doesn't get seasick, because then she'd break. She acts like she got seasick. She's like, I did, ooh, it's good that I have a steel stomach, because yeah. otherwise, I don't think anybody else could deal with this. But I can. I can deal with this because I got a steel stomach. Not so many people that are as delicate as as me could handle this kind of seasickness. She, do, but she doesn't get seasick. She's she's a needle. Remember, guys, this is just a story. She ended up further along, or maybe this wagon got off the side a little bit, but uh, the wagon wheel smashes down. It's crushes the egg and she's like oh my gosh it crushes so hard i'm crushed i'm going to break 
but the egg crushed, and she, she didn't. didn't. And there she lays still. Yeah, and and if in the cobbled streets. Close the chapter on this episode until we meet again, and so the story goes. We turn the page to find the end.